Hello everyone, I'm doing, this is not really a response video, but it's more to add to MN12's Bird's uh, PS2 repair. In this particular, in this PS2's case, it's able to eventually read the disc. It takes about like 20-30 minutes for it to start a game. So the laser is not completely shot, but there is one thing that he did not say about it. And, you know, obviously, this is your laser. Here's the ribbon. You got this guy right here. And this is another way to try to fix it. And based on the article on Ars Technica, uh, it says, uh, you'll notice there's a white disc, which is right here. And it says, uh, there's a white disc behind the lens that is circled in yellow and red marks on it. Now, in this case, this doesn't really have it, or at least I don't see it because you're not the, you know, pull this off, but I don't want to. Uh, let me see if this, if it's on this side. Uh, I don't see it, but it's this guy right here, and this is the gear that adjusts the level of the lens. Don't touch it. Grab your felt tip marker and mark the original position. Before I even touch this, I marked it. See that little black stuff right there? I marked it. That way I know exactly where this goes if I screw it up. After you mark it, you turn each notch clockwise and then test it. What this basically does, it actually adjusts the height of the lens. And a lot of times that would actually fix it. Not all the time, but this is just another way of fixing the lens. Instead of, I, I would not adjust the voltage on the lens before we try this method first. That's because most of the time the lens is just off balance. Not really because there's not enough voltage going on to the lens. So I would try this first. Mark it, adjust it, and you know if it doesn't work, put it back to the original position, then adjust the voltage. But try this first. And make sure you go clockwise when you do this. So I'm going to try to do this with the camera. Of course, I don't really recommend doing that, but you know, you're going to take it and go clockwise. Now, I only did it once. So what I'm going to do is put this back on alright guys I did that little thing and it actually loads up just fine let me eject it now I can fine tune it and try to get rid of the clicking noise but it is able to boot up much quicker now So now here comes the boot up. It's not perfect. But it will start.
Let me try again. Okay, it's booted up now. And there it goes. Now obviously there are issues when you actually turn on the system and then it tries to read it. But when the system's already on and you put the disc in, it's able to start. So I'm going to keep fiddling with this and see if I can get a little better. But this is, this is a big, big improvement from before. Like I said, before this, was, this would take like a half hour. And just doing this, it's able to boot up much quicker. So hang on, and let me try to fiddle with this again. All right, um, well, should open that thing. But I fiddle with it, and now it's perfect. I never change the voltage on the lens. I only change the height of the lens that reads it at. So it's on, turn it on. And here it goes. Look at that. Now it's like a brand new PlayStation 2. I do hear a little bit of clicking on this. So I may have to fine tune it to get rid of the click. But that clicking noise is because as it goes up and down, it's not, it goes all the way to the top and then just drops down. So when you hear that click, it's going all the way up then goes back down. So it actually makes sense to adjust the level. Because if it goes up then goes back down and then has to like reposition itself to where it's at. So probably what happens over time with these lenses is that they eventually either go up a little more or they drop. I'm probably guessing the lens itself goes up more and then as it goes up it just drops down because that's how these lenses were designed or at least these particular ones. So adjust the level, adjust the height of the lens using that white thing. Just use a flathead, adjust it keep fine-tuning and then you'll get a working PlayStation 2 back remember I don't recommend changing the voltage use that as a last resort so have a good one